how's it going? It's Shani today here and welcome to a frequently asked questions video that I put some feelers out for on Instagram recently. Also, if you aren't following me on Instagram, Shani today, what you been doing? No, but seriously, um, I put out a question about is there anything Sims related that you would like answered? And these are some of the responses as well as some of the responses or questions that I get a lot in my YouTube video videos. So let's jump into it. I decided that we're going to have a look at me doing my August shell challenge. So if you want to participate in this, it's hashtag shiny purple shell on the gallery. It's due at the end of the month. And here's what the shell looks like. And then I've already started working. So we're going to jump into that momentarily. Can you please do a video on base game skill cheats? 100%. It's in the cards right now. So go check that out. I've actually also gone over and above and I have created a DLC and pack based skill cheats video as well. So both of those are in the description or up in the cards. Can you please do a pregnancy cheats video? Have done this as well in the description or up in the cards. Basically, if it's not in the description, imagine that I haven't done it yet and I'll probably get around to doing it in future. Sims on console. Is it multiplayer? No. The Sims, the Sims 4 on console is not multiplayer, which also therefore means it's not split screen. Uh, is it on 360? No, unfortunately, The Sims 4 on console is not on Xbox 360 and it is not on PlayStation 3. However, there is a version of The Sims which is on Xbox 360, which is The Sims 3 and The Sims 3 Pets. There are two versions for console. Um, I've personally never played it, but I know that it's there, but you won't be able to find The Sims 4 on Xbox 360. Is The Sims 4 on console play anywhere? No, it's not. It's it's so far away from being a play anywhere title that I have to rebuy the packs that I have on console on PC if I wanna play them on my Origin account. Despite my Origin account being linked via my Xbox and my Origin, um, I still have to buy all of the packs again. So no, it is definitely not a play anywhere title. However, it is available on EA Play, which is included in your Game Pass subscription if you are on Xbox. So you can get base game for free and then you get 10%, I think, off of all of the additional packs. If you have Game Pass, then you get it with EA Play. So that's great. But no, it's not a Play Anywhere title. Can Sims on console have custom content? No, and I've done an extensive video series about this. You can check it out in the cards or in the description. I have a feeling I'm going to eventually run out of space in the cards and it might not be in the cards, but it will be in the description. Can I play with a keyboard and mouse on the Sims 4 console? Yes, you can. That's how I play. I've also done an extensive video about how playing with a keyboard and mouse plugged into your console is probably going to improve your game tenfold. But yes, I play with a mouse and keyboard plugged into my Xbox. I play with a little Logitech uh, keyboard, uh, which plugs directly into my uh, console with a little dongle and then a little Bluetooth Logitech mouse that comes with it as well. That's just the model that I use. I will be leaving a link to that below. Should you get Sims on PC or Sims on console? Do you want to play with mods and custom content? If so, get it on a PC. If you don't want to play with with custom content and mods, console will be fine for you. Why is the gallery on console not working? So initially we didn't have access to the gallery on The Sims 4 console, but they've since introduced it. And I know it's a little bit fun funky for a bunch of people. So I have done a full video cards description on how to get your gallery to work. So that's fun. Why, whenever I type in a cheat on my Xbox, do I get the command failed to execute error message? Um, this actually falls under the testing cheats uh, true, testing cheats on, cheat not working. Um, I have done a full breakdown on why this isn't working for you, but basically, if you're trying to use testing cheats on or testing cheats true and you get the error message of ex failed to execute command, just load into a household. You can't, you can't input that cheat in menus or in manage worlds. You have to be loaded into a household. Uh, Sims for console differences between... PlayStation or Xbox or between console and PC? Because between PlayStation and Xbox, there is literally no difference apart from the, the, the controller buttons being called different things, but they're exactly the same like mapping. The only difference that I've been able to find so far is the fact that on PlayStation, there's one additional trophy, which is a trophy to unlock all of the trophies. That's the only difference. But if you're talking about the differences between PC and console sims, I will do a separate video about this. And once that's up, it'll be in the description below. Can I get free packs on The Sims 4? Uh, no. <laughs> First of all, this channel doesn't support piracy. Second of all, the only free content that you can grab on the console for Sims 4 is the holiday celebration stuff. 
and the guitar thing that you get by linking your EA accounts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but there are no other fancy things for free in The Sims. You got to pay for them, unless you win them, of course. Or you have someone else buy it for you as a gift. Sims console first person, a uh, shift tap. Shift tab. I don't actually know what the controller uh, thing for that is. Huh. This is going to be the R3 button on your controllers, which basically means your right hand uh, stick or thumb stick, you're going to hold it in until you get to first person. Sims console hidden trophies. I've actually just done a full achievements and trophies video on my YouTube channel. So description. I hate sending you to the description, but this is a quick fire FAQ, okay? Xbox hacks. <laughs> I've done full cheats videos for you to be able to go watch. Those are in the description below. Uh, Sims 4 keyboard controls. Once again, done a full video. I've actually covered a lot of videos um, or a lot of content about the Sims. So you can check that out as well. Um, do I need Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus? Yes. The straight plain answer is yes. If you want to be able to connect to the gallery, if you want to upload stuff, you want to download stuff, if you want to access online features, unless your account's been set up for a minor, you will need an Xbox Live slash Xbox Gold, whatever it's called now, and PlayStation Plus. You will need an online account. How do I change the language of my Sims on console? Okay, so firstly, the Sims will always and forever only ever speak Simlish in-game. That is to allow the Sims to be accessible to most countries, uh, so they don't have to do five million takes in the different languages and only the actual game's UI will need to change languages. So I will do a separate video on how to update the UI in terms of what your menus and what your uh, little pop-ups and everything, the language that those are those available in. Uh, but as for your actual Sims spoken language, it will always be the Simlish. The Simlish, it will always be Simlish. What is the difference between my Sims library and the Sims gallery? Okay, so the gallery is where you can access community builds, uh, creator builds, anyone on the internet who also plays the Sims who uploads stuff to the gallery via their usernames. That's where you can get the gallery items, which is where you can place your own things on the gallery for other people to be able to download. Library is only available to you. So for those who don't have access to the gallery because of either network connection um, issues or you haven't linked your EA account correctly and you only have options to my library, it's the offline version where you can save lots and stuff that you don't necessarily want to send to the gallery that you can save so that you have it. I especially use the library when I'm moving between lots and I want to save something, but I don't necessarily want to go through the whole rigmarole of uploading it online. So it's basically offline and online, effectively. What is the needs cheat? I've done a full cheats video. Uh, Sims 4 console performance comparison. Oh, actually, so I won't necessarily do a full breakdown right now. I'll do a more in-depth version of this in a separate video. And once I've done that video, I'll put it in the cards or in the description. Uh, but basically, I can only speak from my Xbox experience because I used to play on an Xbox One. It was the original launch launch year Xbox One, so the OG OG. And then I moved from an Xbox One to an Xbox One X. And then from an Xbox One X, I moved to an Xbox Series S. Uh, the jump, never mind loading times, um, which jumped tremendously from the Xbox One to the Xbox One X to the Xbox Series S. The loading times were so much quicker. The game wasn't stuttering as much. Uh, it wouldn't freeze as much as well. So it became a lot smoother. No, my Xbox Series S is not as smooth as when I play on PC, but it's damn close. But the jump between the old generation and the Xbox One to the, the One X and then the Series S is quite ridiculous. Um, so if you are playing on an older generation console and you don't necessarily have the ability to upgrade to a new gen console just yet, my recommendation would be to... Invest in an SSD, so that is a um, external storage device. Uh, I'm not going to go into the, all the techie techies of the difference between a normal hard drive and an SSD, but the SSD is quicker. That's all you need to know. It's it's quicker, it reads faster, and then once you get one of those, you format it for your console and you move your Sims files, you got all your Sims packs and stuff to run off of the SSD. I can guarantee you that will run faster. Um, so yeah, that would be my recommendation is to move it onto a hard drive particularly an SSD. Uh, can I woohoo the Grim Reaper? Actually, no, you can't. 
unless you go through extensive cheats to be able to remove the Grim Reaper trait for the Grim Reaper. In The Sims 4, there is no way to woohoo with the Grim Reaper, so you can't have ghost babies with the Grim Reaper, which is unfortunate. Unlock all items. I've done this in my cheats video, but that is going to be bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live hidden objects. Uh, and bb. Uh, bb. Ignore a gameplay unlocks entitlement. That'll unlock all the things. So that was fun. Uh, I shot through a whole bunch of those very quickly. If there are specific questions that I answered and you would like to see fleshed out a little bit more in its own video, or if you want to go check out any of the videos that I have already done in the description below, that'd be great. Uh, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Remember that we're all human differently, and I'll see you guys again soon. Dag dag. Mm. Thank mm -hmm.